Esports is an industry that has been growing rapidly over the past decade, with an expected global audience of 532 million people by the end of 2022. And as virtual reality and the metaverse continues to grow alongside the esports industry, it is only natural that these two industries will eventually collide. Current VR esports are nowhere near as popular as traditional gaming esports. But as VR technology advances, I believe that VR and the metaverse will change esports forever, not just for the players, but more importantly, for the viewers as well. For the players, it is easy to see that VR can require more physical movement compared to sitting at a computer using a mouse and keyboard. I don't think this type of esport will be considered better or worse than traditional esport games, but rather just a different option which could attract its own fans. Today, watching someone play VR is admittedly pretty awkward, where they have a giant brick mounted to their face and are waving around bulky controllers. But over time when VR tech becomes more compact, lightweight, and sleek, this could open the door to a more smooth, physical experience that becomes all around more enjoyable to watch and participate in. But where I believe VR truly shines when it comes to enhancing the esports experience is for the viewers. For traditional sports, actually being at the game is a much different experience than just watching it on TV. While watching on TV, you get to see the entire game from the comfort of your own home. The results of the game are no different at all than as if you were there, and you also get the most optimized viewing angle of every play. You don't need to travel to the stadium, find a parking spot, be confined to one single seat, or stand in line for snacks. And yet, people still love physically going to sporting events and having these experiences because these experiences are what makes going to the game more enjoyable. In the future, I believe that VR will be able to bring that feeling of actually being at a sporting event to eSports which will greatly enhance the experience for the viewers. Imagine being able to network with thousands of users into a single virtual stadium with the eSport event taking place at the center. Instead of watching the eSport on TV, now you can actually be there watching the game in the stadium with fans who share the same interest in the event. Already, there's a common connection with all the people attending the event which will greatly enhance the social experience. While the game is taking place, the stadium could be a place to walk around and explore. Shops could be set up with exclusive digital items that you could take back to your virtual space in the metaverse as a souvenir of the event. Other social areas in the stadium could be set up as well to hang out or play games anytime during breaks at the event or even during the game itself if fans want. And just because the viewer's experience in this scenario is in VR, that does not mean the esports player also needs to be in VR. This viewing experience would be just as immersive if the playing field consists of a game of League of Legends or Overwatch taking place when the esports players are controlling the characters via mouse and keyboard on computers. The difference in the viewing angle of being in the stadium watching the arena versus watching the game flat on the TV is going to be a completely different experience. But if the players are playing a VR esport as well, that would open the doors even further for player fan interactions, such as the Green Bay Packers Lambo Leap. Advancements in VR technology will allow for those tiny details to be experienced and help blur the lines between traditional sports and esports. Both VR and esports are exciting industries that have been growing rapidly over the past decade, and I look forward to seeing them continue to advance over the next decades. Do you think VR will enhance the esports experience? Let me know why or why not in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already to see more videos like this one, as well as my documentation of the creation of my own VR game that I'm working on. Thanks, and see you next time.